Hello lovely friends and family. Welcome to Basilia God and Food. It's always a pleasure to come your way with delicious, delicious recipes. I hope you are all doing well by God's grace. So today I want to share this delicious recipe with you. Okay, this recipe is bomb. You know the way we do our jollof fries. Forget about it. That is not how we are making this delicious, yummy jollof fries. Okay, so I thought of making a curry base. So curry, curry is an Indian dish, okay? And they have a base, it's like a stew or something. So I made that base and I use it for jollof fries. So I want you to stay with me as we go through that recipe because Charlie, the recipe is, a what I'm trying to say is that using the curry base, is nice and more delicious the flavor is more intense than using our normal tomato base so let's get into the video So we get some oil okay and you put it in a pan and then when it's heated you add some garlic and some ginger okay and um you're going to fry this for a few minutes right then we add the other ingredients okay which are some bay leaves and cinnamon sticks and some cumin okay i'm going to be adding some cardamom as well some cloves and then um, we'll stir and then we'll keep adding things. Okay, so I've added some chilies here, right? And I'm going to um, fry this for a few minutes and I add our onions, okay, some onions, okay. You know, curries, they use a lot of onions. So, right, I'm using about 10 medium sized onions, okay, between eight and 10 to be precise. To be precise, I have to say it's 10, but yeah, between 8 and 10. So you fry it until you see that the onions have reduced in size or in quantity. Then you add your fresh tomatoes. You give it a stir and then you cover it to simmer, okay, for about, mm, how long? I don't know. So for about 15 to 20 minutes, okay. <laughs> Shy. Okay, until you cover it and you let it simmer until you see that the tomatoes has become soft or it has softened, right? You let it cool down and then you blend. I hope that will make it easier for you to know the timing, okay? So when the tomatoes are soft, okay, then it's ready to be cooled. If you don't have time to, you can just blend it hot like that, okay? So now it has cooled down completely and I'm going to be blending this, okay? So you have to make sure that you have a blender that can blend all those um, little spices like cardamom and cloves and cumin smoothly, okay? So if it can't do the job, you find a better one. Or you make sure that you use already ground spices, okay? Don't use the whole ones, use the ground spices so i've omitted two ingredients from this curry base but before then i've got some gram masala so gram masala is the main spices they use for curry base okay so it comprises um coriander seeds and um, black peppercorns cumin so that's why you have to use less cumin at the beginning otherwise you have too much cumin in your food okay and some other spices i can't remember so please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing if you haven't because fantastic things happen on this channel. Trust me. Okay. Thank you. So our ground masala is nicely ground and ready to be used. Okay. So in a separate saucepan, um, I added some oil, some more oil, a little bit. It's not so much oil, like 
that's to me half a cup of oil and then i'm going to be adding in our spices okay so the gram masala some turmeric some rosemary nutmeg and you're going to stir right so once we fry it for a few moments like about one to two minutes you add your blended um tomato base or tomato concoction we blended earlier okay so you add everything you're going to stir and then you cover for it to cook and i want you to bear in mind that this is this is a um, senior splatter if you splatter more than this you know you see so i just showed a little bit of the splattering going on here it's really a splatter so make sure you cover your saucepan otherwise by the time you finish your kitchen will be like a crime scene just a csi for normal bar evidence of if anything basin curry basin it will be pia pata 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 everywhere so yeah so you let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes stirring intermittently otherwise the bottom can burn okay so and then it's ready to be used so i've washed some basmati rice the best rice to use for a curry based jollof rice and i'm saying eh, I'm not calling India, I'm not calling Prakum, I'm calling Yee Prakum. Saying that, you know, I stand to be corrected. Um, I, I, I'm presuming, say, basmati rice is from India. Okay, so I've poured, I'm going to be baking this rice. I decided to bake it instead of cooking it the normal way. But trust me, you can cook it the normal way. I've cooked some the normal way and it was good. Okay, so I've tested for salt and I see that it's not enough. So I'm adding some salt to it, right? Actually, the thing uh, it appears that I didn't add salt now that I'm watching this video again. I'm going to be baking it, so I'm adding some of the um, curry base to my rice and stirring it, right? And making sure every bit of the rice is coated, right? And I need some water, you know, like you need some water. But I decided not to just use water, but to use some stock. So here I'm using chicken stock because I'm going to be serving this jollof rice with some chicken, okay? So yeah, I use a chicken stock pot and um, I've just dissolved it in water and I've added it to my jollof rice, okay? And cooked jollof rice, that is, okay? Giving a stir and um, making sure that this, the base is enough. I keep on calling it a bit stew. But I think that is curry. Curry in India is stew, basically, like our stew, our Ghana stew, okay? right so now that i'm happy with it i'm going to pop it in the oven but before then i'm going to put my chicken on it i didn't show because it's not about the chicken today it's just about the rice okay i'll share this recipe with you sometime okay so in the middle of cooking i bring out the rice and take out all the chicken okay and give it a stir right one of the main reasons why i love to bake my jollof rice in a baking tray or a baking pan is you don't really get a lot of crust. Not just say, we oh, preserve you doing anymore. You don't waste a lot of things, okay? You get some crust, but not a lot. So once I've stirred it to my satisfaction, I go ahead and add, you know, the chicken and then continue to cook, right? And I cover it with um, a kitchen foil to um, contain the heat in it so that every bit of the rice can cook and become very fluffy. So this went in about four to five times i don't remember i think the between three and five right but as long you go in as much or as long as it cooks okay as as much as so yeah my jollof rice is ready it's so delicious and look at that basmati rice they all your rubbish cuckoo cry or the noir actually you'll be like a pro <laughs> So don't deceive yourself when you cook basmati and your rice looks like this is the best. Just a basmati, that is a natural makeup. So I tasted it and it was perfect delicious, and delicious. Jollof rice. I can only say these things, I can just say, I wish you can taste it. But if you taste it, you know that like, you know, my kids tasted it. I'm like, mommy, this is different. This is really, really, really nice. Okay, because it doesn't taste like you're eating curry or anything because i i think because i omitted two main ingredients they are cashew nuts and melon seeds yeah so that is it i served it with obviously the chicken and some i always do some awam salad be around it 
and this was delicious okay thank you everyone for coming to support me again it means so so much to me and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye